Five years ago, in April 2019, this iconic landmark Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris covered in flames. This incident shocked the world as this structure stood for over 850 years, suddenly faced destruction by devastating fire. Its flying buttresses and rose windows showed the genius of engineering. But the fire left a huge hole in the roof, destroyed its spire and weakened its structure. And over the five years since the fire, hundreds of millions of euros have spent and around 250 companies and hundreds of experts have worked to begin the Paris icon back to life. Let's have a look how it is restored even much better than before. Construction of Notre Dame began in the 12th century in four phases and then it was modified in the 18th century and then restored in the 19th century. On April 15, 2019, the cathedral caught fire, destroying the roof and the oak roof beams that were supporting the lead roof. The fire destroyed much of the roof and the cathedral spire while also causing an estimated 5-10% to of its priceless artwork to be lost. Soon after this incident, an outpouring of support flooded in, with nearly $1 billion pledged by some of the wealthiest individuals and companies in France. The first priority was to secure the structure and over 200 tons of debris was carefully cleared, which revealed the immense scale of tasks that lay ahead. Restoration efforts involved a collaboration of specialists from around the world, including master carpenters, stone masters, and engineers. They worked tirelessly to bring the cathedral back to its original splendor. Traditional restoration methods were combined with the latest technologies to meticulously recreate the integrate details of original design. A key tool in restoration was the use of advanced 3D laser scanning technology, which allowed for the creation of precise models of the damaged areas of cathedral. This was particularly fortunate as French gaming company Ubisoft has previously scanned the entire cathedral in 2014 for their game Assassin's Creed Unity. The company provided the data to the restoration team and also pledged $500,000 to add in the reconstruction effort. Additionally, 3D printing technology was used to accurately reproduce complex architectural features, ensuring both precision and historical authenticity while expediting the restoration process. The restoration of roof proved to be one of the most complex tasks. An intricate wooden framework known as the forest had to completely rebuild using oak trees selected from forests across France. The scaffolding around the cathedral was posed significant engineering challenges. Engineers designed a specialized scaffolding system that could support the structure without placing undue stress on the already weakened walls. The reinforcing of foundation was another crucial aspect of restoration. Engineers injected special grouting materials into soil to strengthen the ground beneath the cathedral and prevent any future subsidence, ensuring that the weight of new roof and spire could be safely supported. To safeguard the cathedral against future disasters, modern fire safety measures were seamlessly integrated into restoration, all while respecting the cathedral's traditional architecture. Advanced fire detection systems, sprinklers, and fire resistant materials were incorporated to better protect the cathedral in the event of another fire. In addition, modern materials and techniques were employed to improve the cathedral's overall resilience. The new spire, though visually identical to original, now incorporates lightweight and fire resistant materials to enhance its durability. As the cathedral officially reopened in December 2024, an estimated 40 million euros is donated to remain in funds, which will be dedicated to future preservation efforts. Today, Notre Dame Cathedral stands as a remarkable testament to human resilience, craftsmanship, and dedication. While there is still work to be done, the public now can see the significant progress that has been made in restoring this historic treasure, transforming it once again into a symbol of hope and enduring strength since that fateful night in 2019.